Okay, to add a stop, the easiest way to do it is from the stitch list, and you probably have never used that. In version 2, you have to go up to the word view and down to stitch list. And this, it will pop up like this, and you can actually see all the colors, every stitch that you have in the design. And you can see the length and all that and everything. The easiest way to do it is to single click on one side, right click, and then go to show functions and choose select all and click OK. And you said you wanted it between color 6 and 7. Now, color 7, when you sent it to me, was a light pale green and you could barely see it on this background. So I changed it to the cyan so you can actually see the words because you'll notice the words are in the colors of the design. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, right, and we're going to, this is color 6, the blue, which will be green on yours. And then this is the color 7. And you you said you wanted to stop between these two colors. All you have to do is click on that color, which is the color change for the color 7. And then right click and insert stop. And you'll see that there's your stop that you need right there, right before the color 7. And that's as easy that it's that's it's that easy. Now you are still at that stitch, and the easiest way to get to the end of the design is press end the end key on your computer, and that will take you to the very end of the design. If you have any other questions, just let me know.